As dangerous storms of hot embers descended, threatening 72,500 homes, firefighter Stuart Chaves knew he had to act swiftly to protect the campsite, the only respite for the exhausted firefighters. Chaves tracked the source of the smoke within the camp and detected a troubling scent beneath the white smoke. Approaching the smoke, Chaves recognized the distinct odors of charcoal and lighter fluid, striking fear into his heart. The presence of these materials suggested arson, a chilling prospect for those battling the blaze. Why would someone intentionally start new fires when they were tirelessly working to extinguish them? The wildfires had already ravaged 20,000 acres, leading Chavez to suspect arson as the cause. He was aware that human activity, though not always intentional, was the most common reason for wildfires in the United States. Now with evidence of fires being lit in the firefighters' campsite, Chavez was determined to find the culprit. Upon reaching the clearing engulfed in smoke, Chavez encountered a crowd of evacues, weary and covered in suit, clutching their belongings, pets and children. Their expressions revealed shock and disbelief. Chavez navigated through the crowd, only to be stopped by a woman who whispered in excitement, it's Guy Fieri. Confused, Chaves knew that Guy Fieri's restaurant in town had closed, and he had fled the wildfires. As he pushed past the crowd into the smoke-filled area, he was hit by the scent of sizzling flesh. To his astonishment, Guy Fieri was there, tending to his BBQ, filling the air with the aroma of smoked pork belly. It turned out that Guy Fieri had heard about the tireless efforts of the firefighters, and though unable to fight fires himself due to lack of training, he wanted to contribute in his own way. Thus he had decided to use his talent for BBQ to feed the firefighters and evacues, offering a small comfort in the midst of the devastation. As officers approached him, they were struck by the man's compassion. Instead of fleeing from the fire, he had rushed towards it to aid those in need. The camp where officials had established their base also served as a temporary shelter for evacues, and Guy Fieri knew how to bring some joy to their lives. The Butt County Sheriff's Department expressed their gratitude deeply. The firefighters and law enforcement personnel, who were tirelessly working to protect and rescue Californians from the devastating fires, were delighted by Guy Fieri's actions. Guy Fieri made a surprise visit to serve dinner to everyone at the law enforcement staging area at Butt College. Thank you so much, Guy, for filling our bellies and lifting our spirits. The home-cooked meals prepared by Guy included pulled pork and other delicious dishes. This act of kindness lifted many spirits after long, disheartening days. Guy demonstrated what an amazing person he is, truly becoming a hero. Little did the officers know, this would not be the last time they would see him. This was not the first time Guy had come to the rescue. In 2017, during life-threatening fires in Santa Rosa, California, he ensured evacues were well-fed. Setting up a tent with another chef, he fed thousands of people, stating, I'm not promoting anything. I'm just here cooking. This is feeding people. People need help, and I'm here to help. That's it. Fieri and other local chefs also collaborated with Operation BBQ Relief, a non-profit organization that provides aid to those affected by disasters across the United States. The group had previously helped feed thousands of victims of Hurricanes Irma and Harvey, and were now conducting their first-ever California relief effort. Their actions brought immense happiness to many people. Fieri's efforts to uplift the community were incredibly successful. Having boosted spirits in 2017, he did so once again in 2018. Officers and crew gathered, sharing food, laughter, and camaraderie. However, despite their camaraderie, there was still much work to be done. Despite days of tireless efforts to contain the wildfires, they continued to spread. By November 21, 2018, the fire was 80% contained, but the remaining 20% posed significant challenges. Firefighters and police officers had been tirelessly working for over two weeks, facing the possibility of being away from their families during the holidays. Fortunately, Guy Fieri, affectionately dubbed the mayor of Flavortown, had another brilliant idea. 
He couldn't bear the thought of so many people being away from home on Thanksgiving, so he decided to bring Thanksgiving to them. Alongside fellow food personality Jose Andres, Fieri set up his World Central Kitchen Tent at Camp Fire on November 22. These two celebrities, alongside several other chefs, spent their Thursday cooking thousands of Thanksgiving dinners for victims of a deadly fire in Northern California. They estimated that 150,000 meals would be served. Once news of their incredible efforts spread, volunteers eagerly joined in to help. The Auburn Police Department announcing, Guy is cooking pulled pork dinner for everyone this evening. He also thanked everyone helping out for their hard work. Thank you, Guy, for your time, support, and great food. Guy Fieri to keep everyone informed, in today's tumultuous world, it's amazing to see our firefighters, military, law enforcement, and come together to rescue our communities devastated by fire. Speaking to Refinery29, Fieri expressed his approach. You stand up, you face it, and you go after it. You don't back down from it. The camp was pleasantly shocked when they saw Guy Fieri's surprise for the hardworking firefighters and law enforcement officials. A massive meal delivered and cooked by him. Fieri began his day at 5 a.m. on Thursday. We are off and cooking at 5 a.m. Going for 7,000 pounds of turkey on six smokers. The heroics soon showed Fieri their own amazing qualities. As news spread that Fieri would cook and serve Thanksgiving dinner to those in need, people gathered not to eat but to help. Even officials joined in, surprising everyone by donning aprons instead of grabbing a plate. Major General Beavers joined in to provide meals for the soldiers working on the grounds, but he wasn't alone in his efforts. Firefighters, officers and military personnel all stepped up once they learned what was happening. Fieri couldn't contain his emotions, he never expected such a response. We had call fire, who I thought were coming to enjoy the food. But no, they're in there serving for Thanksgiving, the celebrity chef exclaimed. As more and more people arrived at the camp, Fieri initially assumed they were there to join the dinner, but he was mistaken, they were there to help. Thousands of individuals attended the Thanksgiving dinner at the camp, made possible by Guy Fieri. Many of those who joined were strangers brought together by tragedy and resilience. Despite the immense loss, everyone found something to be thankful for. I'm alive, remarked Virginia Parton, a teacher at Paradise High. My students all made it out. They're all alive, and I believe in hope. Though the fire was gradually being contained, many people remained unaccounted for, with over 27,000 forced into shelters by the devastating flames. However, for a few hours on Thanksgiving Day, Guy Fieri provided them with something to be truly grateful for, hope and strength to persevere, to protect and serve, to fight on without giving up.